here's the Fly franchise ranked. So uh, I've reviewed every movie. There's five movies coming in at number five. The, the worst movie of this franchise and just a terrible movie is The Curse of the Fly. The third movie in the old school movie trilogy back in the 50s and 60s. I thought the effects were good. Other than that, it doesn't have any of the previous characters. I think the movie is boring and slow. The weird creatures weren't explained on what they were. And I don't know who the dead guy in the car at the end of the film was. So that wasn't explained. And there's not even a fly in the movie. There's not even a human fly hybrid creature. So by default, this should be the worst because it doesn't have a fly in the movie or the fly human creature but even aside from that it's just the most boring so mo so i think it's pretty bad moving on uh number four is return of the fly this i still don't like but it has a mildly interesting story i think the fight between the two guys were pretty good uh the fly costume i thought was pretty cool other than that it doesn't uh, this is supposed to take, like, 20 years after the uh, original. People should look older, namely Vincent Price, but he just doesn't. Um, you don't see the fly creature until, like, 52 minutes into the film, which you don't see the fly until, the fly creature until 65% into the movie. And so he even has less screen time because he's not constantly on screen for the for the rest of the movie and just other than that this is just another boring movie that i don't enjoy that much so i'm moving on number three is the fly the the original 1959 fly movie the one that started it all i thought the science of <clears throat> splitting an item into atoms <clears throat> was interesting the yes no knock was pretty cool it can be angry sad or assertive so i thought that was interesting um the reveal of the fly uh taking the blanket off that was pretty cool and the story is pretty engaging for when you watch it the first time other than that i think it's very slow uh and it doesn't make any sense why they start the movie after Andre is killed and it kind of ruins the mystery so this is again another movie I don't enjoy that much and I I really just don't like it that much so I won't really re-watch it <clears throat> so moving on number two is The Fly 2 the the sequel to the remake fly. <clears throat> um, I think it tells an interesting story with Martin and Beth. So I liked that. Um, the effects are gross and awesome. Uh, and this movie actually has some pretty good kills with, uh, with a satisfying ending with Martin getting revenge on the corporation and uh, having a few good kills like the elevator kill and the acid to the face kill. Uh, and then poetic justice of the boss <clears throat> being turned into what the dog was. That was uh, interesting. So <clears throat> it, it has a very entertaining third act. On the other hand, uh, the love scene I thought was disturbing because Martin was supposed to be like five years old, even though he looks like a 30-year-old. Um... And the creature he turns into, it, it looks nothing like a fly. Just a generic monster. Um, and they honestly don't have Beth realize Martin is five years old. You'd think that would be some drama woven into the movie at some point. But it's just never addressed. So, so that was a missed opportunity for the movie. But other than those negatives, I think it's fine. I think it's a decent, watchable movie. I don't think it is really a good sequel to The Fly remake, but it's entertaining. It, it's an entertaining movie. But my number one favorite movie is 
The Fly. This is one of my favorite films of all time. I have no negatives on it. Uh, the love story is so engaging with Seth Brundle and Veronica Quaife. And you buy into their chemistry. I think Seth Brundle as a character is very cool because he's a thinker and he likes to figure stuff out. So I like that. And I also like the motivation of why he's making these devices of uh, that he gets motion sickness. Easy motivation for him, but uh, it's effective. Um, he, he changed from a kind person to only wanting to get someone into the telepod, so he changes, uh, characters, uh, near the end of the movie, uh, and I also like it that they flip S Stathis, 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 and Seth from the hero and villain, so now Stathis, I think, uh, it, well, it goes from the villain to the hero, and Seth goes from the hero to the villain. So I like that flip. Uh, the effects, of course, are top-notch. I really like that. And the ending is so sad, but it makes sense that, uh, that, unfortunately, this brilliant scientist has to die because he would just suffer being, uh, this fly-human telepod creature thing so uh so so it makes sense for the ending of the movie so <clears throat> so again i have no negatives on the fly the the fly remake is one of my favorite films of all time it is my number one favorite horror movie of all time and seth brundle i like him i love him as a character and i like jeff goldblum as seth brundle so the Fly, one of my favorite horror movies, or, excuse me, my favorite horror movie of all time, and just one of my favorite films of all time, so, I love The Fly. The Fly easily comes out as my number one favorite, The Fly movie in the Fly franchise. Thanks for watching.